Hello, welcome to my studio tour. I guess Abby has decided that she's not going to be part of the tour, but let's begin. This table contains all of the journals that I'm working on. I think you might recognize some of them. That includes my Mona Vanna. Please be patient. I think I'm finally getting the knack of this thing. My glue book and my antique ledger. Moving along on this wall, we come to my drawing table. And on that, you can see that I have some projects set up that I'm working on. I have my go-to face book, my flower book, my rose book, and my big new folded journal. And projects that I am going to be delving into now and not stopping until I've gotten through is this book on drawing. And I'm going to be using this Note, school notebook, and I'm going to work from page one and go right through because there is so much, so, so much that I have to learn about drawing. And here is the book by Flora Boley that started it all, Brave Intuitive Painting. Coming around a little bit, we can see at the bottom Abby's bunker that she disappears into. This is my corner nest. Here we have the uh, projects that I'm working on. I'm I've decided that I'm going to be going back to a little bit of crochet. So Joanne was having a wonderful sale and so I'm going to begin that project, maybe today. An ongoing pickup needle point project. And Miss Witch here is great fun. And I'll be working on her. Alrighty. There again. I guess I will learn how to work this gadget as I have managed to figure out how to edit video, so I guess I can do that. This is my table of things that I have at hand, and we're now coming around to the other side of my room. This is my, as you can see, we all have them, things that I use that don't fit any place else, things that I might want to get my hands on rather quickly. This cart had been used for needlepoint fibers, but I put the fibers in smaller containers and decided that this cart would be quite perfect for me for my art. And as you look further into the room here, you will see that this is the other side of my nest and this is my watercolor section. Oh my my. Yes. Here are all of the watercolors that I own tucked there. My complete collection of brushes. Some goodies that I have been purchasing and want to get back to a little bit more. And here are some watercolor papers and projects that I'm going to be working on. And another view of my table. Down on the floor, large bins with large bits of paper. On this wall, in this corner, we have my 
shelves, as you can see, crammed full of all of the things that I need to work with. Up at the top, I have a selection of future altered books that I have been picking up and I'm seriously considering sharing them with you. I'm going to possibly, hopefully, start an Etsy shop so that I can share these goodies with you. On the next shelf, we have my Neo Colors, my Aquarelles, my Gelatos, and my Intense Blocks washi tape, my Or, uh, wa sorry, my washable uh, oil pastels, my pencils, ink tints, and Prismacolors, all of my necessaries for art, my Target paints, and here just little bins with my dilutions, some various inks, some of my metallics, my paint pens tools, stamps, wood stamps, and here, saving and ready to go, are the acrylic tubes that I'm going to be working with and investigating and having fun with after I finish reading the two books on the subject that I was able to pick up at Donna Downey's studio, down on the floor, paper, that is just divided into watercolor paper, mixed media, and so forth. And here, we're coming around to my workstation for my videoing, my go-to spot, and I think this is the other part of my nest. Let me walk around this way and step back so that you can see the setup that I have for my camera. That was so totally new to me that it sometimes continues to flabbergast me that I can do that. But motivation is a wonderful thing. On the corner of this table, my ceram coat and my golden acrylics right at hand. My often used black pens. Markers and miscellaneous and necessary gadgets, my box of makeup sponges, my Thurber book for cleanup, and here at the top we have some large bins in which I keep my flower paintings that I have done, my girls, some original art, and my flower stencils, journal artifacts, my jelly plates, and I must get back to those, and here a very large bin for my stencils, because you know that I do have some that are quite large, so there they get stored. I do hope that you are able to tolerate this novice's idea of videoing using my own body as the pivot point, but this is my space, this is my happy place, and I thought that I might share it with you. Here I'm turning around and back to the door. If you have enjoyed watching this video, please give me a thumbs up, share with a friend, leave a comment, and I would certainly appreciate your subscribing to my channel. And thank you so much for being tolerant 
of my first effort. I hope that the next time I take this camera in hand, I will do a better job. Bye now.